Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Quarantine Life episode. I think this is episode eight. <sighs> yeah, episode eight. It's rib day. Ooh, almost lost the water. It is rib day. Got them prepped last night. Got them all cut, and they look good. They were really nice and juicy and fresh. So we got a job to go to today, this morning, for my grandma. We're gonna go um, do some yard work for her. Um, we gotta drive by another job, potential job, um, give an estimate, and then um, we're gonna be rocking and rolling. So we'll get home and work on the ribs. Another thing we're doing today is we're gonna work on some more um, content with Scotty, some more Zoom stuff. We're about I think nine days away um, from moving on to the next phase of the reopening plan for our state, which we decided that's when Scotty can start coming back out. So I'm um, hoping, praying. So hopefully when those episodes air, we'll have actually returned to fishing. So um, we're really excited, but also got some stuff in the works with Mr. Blue Line. Um, I've got some exciting news. Eventually I'm gonna get to share with that. Um, gonna make a video here in the next few days. Really excited, really pumped about it. So um, I hope you guys have a great morning. Um, we gotta go load up and head out. Um, and then we gotta come back and start the rips, and um, it's gonna be a good day. Um, still a little wet out here where we are at, but not too bad. So um, we're looking forward to it. I'm really excited for today. Um, I love making ribs. One of my favorite things to make. So, are you excited for ribs? What? Are you excited for ribs? Yeah. They're Mary's favorite. We're actually celebrating Mary's graduation. Everybody say congratulations, to Mary. Graduating college. Done. So I'm making ribs for her, so but we gotta get rolling. You got anything you wanna say as we get this day started? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Alright, sounds good to me. Let's uh let's get started. Oh <laughs> she said hi before the hi. camera's on. <laughs> Why are you so close to my face? We're done with the job. So now we're gonna get ready to, uh... oh wait, it's over here. Get the ribs on and then we're gonna go get lunch. Mary's very excited about the ribs. Yeah. You know what we ought to try this winter when we get one? What's that? Deer ribs. Venison ribs. That'd be good. All right, about to show you how the magic happens. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. All right. We got the smoker started. I always start it to get it warm. We're gonna wash our hands. Because that's how we start the cooking adventure. Now, what we didn't record was the prep last night. So, ribs, they have a membrane on the back of them um, that you gotta remove. They're, it's pretty easy. You can kind of see it on the ribs. I normally just slide a knife under, get started, and pull it. Um, and then we cut ours in half to make them fit um, in the pans better that we use. So that's what they look like right there. And what we're going to do today is while we're prepping them, I'm just going to leave the ones that we're not working on right here. So these actually are really good ribs. Um, Something we are going to do though is pat them dry. Is there enough on here to do that at least? Yeah, we should. So you don't want your um, your uh, your rub to fall off while cooking. But you also don't want something that's going to stick onto it that's going to ruin um, the taste. There we go, that's better. So, one of our friends, mustard. Mustard has no taste once it cooks and it sticks, um, so it keeps the ribs, um, rub on the ribs. So you just drizzle it like that. I always use these 
basting brushes and just spread it around. Ooh, look out, champ. So, like I said, we're going to baste it. Make sure you get the sides with the mustard because you want to make sure you get rib rub on the sides and on the end. And then this is what we use. I'll link it below. Famous Dave's Rib Rub. Um, ant. Very good. Very tasty. Um, it's our favorite kind of rub. I put quite a bit of rub on there because we really like the seasoning. Um, does pack a little bit of a kick when it's done. Not too bad. Um, but it is definitely kickier than um, some things you can use. And there's so many different kinds of rib rub. I mean, you can make your own at home. Um, you can buy store-bought. There's multiple brands. Famous Dave's is just our favorite. Um, make really good stuff. They also have steak burger seasoning and all other kinds of stuff. So um, check it out down there. And then we let it sit for just a few minutes, um, 10 minutes. And we let it sit, um, kind of stick to the ribs. Um, that way they don't um, fall off. So, um, And then we do it on the front and back. We'll make sure the sides get done. Um, the back is important too just because, you know, even though it's a lot of bone, there's still meat, some, down, some meat down there. Most of it's bone. Um, but other than that, um, it's kind of how this goes. And this is just the first step. There's more stuff we do later. Here's my lovely assistant. My lovely Brian. I'm the chef, but she's very good at handing me ingredients. Because I'm a chef too. With a truck and two strong arms Not scared of dirt And willing to work Till the sun goes down So I pulled up and said I'm your man I can start right now And we shook hands He said the fence needs fixing The beaches need picking And the cows need bringing round I was hauling hay I was feeding the hogs And that summer sun Had me sweating like a dog So I cooled off in the creek Then it was back to work And that dad comes heat I was cussing out loud Thinking about quitting Looking back now I'm sure glad I did Cause just when I thought It couldn't get no hotter I caught a glimpse of the farmer's dog sat down and saw fit to say let there be light so he could tell the daytime from the night and then he spoke again oh hi shrimp oh smokers okay smell a you want to smell a phone i would love it not for farts Oh, Lord, so Mary. Cookies and ribs and yummy smell. Parents, I apologize for my wife's inappropriate behavior. Saying, a question, where's my little juice tray? What? It's on the back, the black thing that goes on the back. Oh, okay. Put it in there. Okay. All right, so another fun tip. Um, we like to keep the smoke going for a little bit, but the meat, whatever you're cooking, gets its flavor within the first hour. So we always add wood chips at the, each step. So we're doing a three, two, one system with these ribs, which is three hours. And then we do some changes, two hours, and another change, one hour. Um, so 
we always fire up our smoker beforehand so it's already hot we put a lot of smoke chips in there so it's already kind of smoky um but then that's kind of it and we kind of let about 30 45 minutes of smoke in each step probably you'd say and it's just the right amount of smokiness not too much not too little um but and we've we've done like smoked chicken breast and all sorts of other stuff so smoked chicken breast definitely recommend um if you all are wondering this is a master belt smoker definitely recommend they've got a lot of cool products um, I actually want one of their um, charcoal cold smokers. Um, I have not gotten that approved at the boss yet. Eventually. Eventually. So, but we really love ours. We actually have talked about by the end of the year upgrading a bigger size. At first, we weren't sure if we were going to love the smoker or as if much. We were use it enough. Or use it enough. We actually end up using it like once, once every 10 days. Yeah. And probably in the summer, we'll be doing a lot more. We're going to do pulled pork and stuff like that. But I had smoked on my grill before. It's, um, it's a lot of fun, but it's hard work with the charcoal just charcoal not electric fine, which is fine it's just extra work this is fun because like last year for thanksgiving i set our turkey in went to bed woke up and it was 23 done people and fed so. 23 people so i um, definitely recommend i will link master built below it's an awesome uh, product um one of our buddies he does a ton of smoking he uses all master built stuff so um, but let's go ahead and get these bad boys in oh we didn't grab any ants yeah, okay. oh yeah that that's where I, we've always put it Oh, yeah, we usually put everything down one rack. No, we've never put the, the water one that low. We've never, no, we don't put it on four. You can sit here and argue with me all day. Go take, go look at your past pictures. I'm not sure you want me to do that. I do. You want to bet? <laughs> you want to bet I'm the one that sets the smoker yeah. up? I want to bet. Bet what? Baskin Robbins for dessert. Not today, but we can go get Baskin Robbins next week. Because I know where I set my smoker up. Because I purposely don't put a tray that low. Because I want the smoke to rise. Alright, so put them in there. Three hours. Starting now. No, we can go look at the pictures. I got the pictures on my phone. I already flipped them to the back side. Shemp, did you just burp? I think you did. Just flipped them to the back side. We're going to put some honey and then some brown sugar and then more rub. Just drizzle that on there. On the sides. Another one of our little basting brushes. A little bit of honey on that side there. Oh, oh, I see you, uh, see guys, I've, I've trained her, <laughs> I've trained her so well that she can do it without my help. This is the, we learn together though. This is what a good teacher does. See, even though this is my project, I've trained her well, so well, she can do it. Actually, I was about to have an emergency, so, uh, an emergency, you say? We, uh, it was, it was pretty close to an emergency. Pia needs to go to the restroom. I need to go to the little boys' room. So I'm just going to let Mary... Take over. Show us here. Not take over, but... Do you want to pat in the sugar? No, I'll let you do that. I'll oh. pour in the apple okay. juice when that time comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you pour... The... You pour, like, a quarter inch to a third apple juice in the pans to let it soak. It's very delicious. It is. No, remember, I don't pat in the sugar. Oh, do you rub it? I mean, with your baster? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm one. I like using my hands. That's a pretty little sundress you got on. And them 
pink flip flops look brand new. Got your toenails painted up midnight red. Springtime tan on the back of your neck, girl. Look at you. This white bee neck that I got on. As plain as a whistle, bright as a day. I got a new spit shine on my old boots. Starch these wranglers just for you yesterday. We can stay right here and that'd be fine. Oh, but I got something else on my mind. Okay. Open the doors. Shut the door, keep out the devil. Shut the door, keep the devil in the night. Shut the door. Like some help. Keep out the devil. So it's not required, but I always rotate them. So the ones that weren't on the top are on the top. Just makes me feel better. Oh, is that your check mark coming off on your finger? Oh. Messed with all those coats. So. Okay. 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 And then real quick, we are going to put more chips. Now this is a cool thing about master belts. I don't have to open it. Just put more stick in it. Put some wood in here. Did you want to soak any? Nope. Not this stuff. Bit next time. Now this is what I hit with the golf cart. The golf cart. So still works. Just a little harder. Maybe. <sighs> And the last step is going to be barbecue. Yeah, we let it cook with barbecue on it. There we go. There you go. All right. And then let them cook for two hours. Dust. Is that timer? Timer. Timer mm -hmm. set. Okay. Devil eggs. I found picking them up with the pinchers is a lot easier. Because um, they're so hot, but you want to kind of do this step while they're hot anyway. So we'll go ahead and do the backs first. Ooh, those are cooking real nice. Oh, yeah. So that they'll kind of shrink up as they cook. Uh, the bones will kind of poke out a little bit. That is A-OK. -okay. And just kind of like our seasoning... Now, we put a ton of barbecue on them. Um, you can put however much barbecue you want on them. You don't have to put as much as we do. It is at your preference. Um, we love barbecue. So we put quite a bit um, on them. Um, I use a whole lot of a bottle um, for ribs. So um, we use Sweet Baby Ray's. I'll show you the bottom here in a second. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Sweet Baby Ray's. Absolute best barbecue on the face of the planet, in my opinion. Um, it's my parents and I's favorite. Mary never had it before she met me. Um, now it's all we get. So They're not quite there, but they're pretty close. They're getting flimsy. Um, a good way to tell if the ribs are done is just how bendy they are. Um, you know, if you really want to fall off the bone, obviously you want them pretty fl flexible. So um, we still got... A while got about an hour 45 45 minutes to an hour um, the last stage is an hour uh, we could have cooked ours today because we got a little late start than normal we cooked ours a little hotter than normal which is just helping them get done a little quicker and they're looking like they're at a good place so as I as you guys can tell I am really lathering on the barbecue I love barbecue um, Mary loves it we love um, having all that sauce on there, and we do put these. We'll put these back in, and then it kind of caramelizes and cooks on there. So um, definitely, yeah. Put a little more on, and then I think we're good. Oh yeah, it's looking good, y'all. Looking good. Yes, yeah, got done shooting some episodes with Scott. So, I'm working on that today. It's 
side then. In here. All right, so those ones are good to go. Now let's get the other two. I think I might have had a birthday, but I don't know what month it is. And on the days I take a shower, yeah, I consider that a win. And every day my um, a, a really good tip if you're getting an electric smoker or if you just got one and you're wondering why your recipes are maybe taking a little longer, one of my friends alerted me to this. Put like an oven thermometer in your uh, smoker set it at like 225 or whatever temp you want and see what it actually registers at not all smokers um actually register at the temperature they say um like we always set ours for 255 but that gets pretty close to 225 so you set and that ends up being about 225 or 230 about where we like to cook it uh, temperature wise so um definitely a good tip kind of see where your smoker runs if it runs hot or cold or how low it runs um and, and it's not a big deal, like your smoker's not broken, it's just how they work. Um, so, so definitely don't think something's wrong with your smoker. Um, it just, I'll just dump these out here today. Um, no shimp. So definitely nothing wrong with your smoker. Um, it's just part of it, um, part of the beast of smoking. And, but that is something I didn't know um, when I started. And I had been wondering why my recipes we're taking so long to cook and my buddy he asked he's like well what does your smoker run at and i was like what do you mean he's like well what does the temperature run at and i said well i assume what i set it to and he's like nope he's like you need to check that um, not all smokers smoke directly at the t exactly the temperature they say they run and i go i went oh he's like yeah so uh that's a tip for all you guys if you're getting a electric smoker or if you're thinking about getting one um hadn't been able to decide if you wanted one or if you gotten one and you were wondering why it uh, wasn't cooking as fast or at the time you thought, that is why. All right, I think we're done. So we got a, one of our weed whackers up and working, which is good. I forgot to turn my camera on for that. Mixed up some two cycle. We'll see how our shoe. Kind of flimsy. Oh, those look good. That was definitely a piece of meat that just fell off. The thing with ribs that's kind of hard is sometimes not all of them are the same doneness. That looks pretty good. Okay. We're gonna try it. See what happens. So we're going in to eat. So I won't be able to talk very much. I'll let you know afterwards how they turned out. But don't they look good? Mm. So that is the whole process. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this kind of vlog. It's not really a, I didn't want to make it a cooking video in case I, uh... ooh, that's gonna be good. I didn't want to make it a cooking video because I absolutely failed like last time, but they're gonna be real. Oh, they're gonna be really good, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode so far of Quarantine Life. Might come back on afterwards as we're editing, kind of show you guys a little behind the scenes of that. But thanks for tuning, in, guys. We are glad that you guys are enjoying these videos. They've actually been doing really well compared to some of the videos on our channel before. So um, definitely try that recipe. Definitely try it. Ribs are really good. You guys will not regret it.